Hello and welcome back to the Joyful Soul Creates. Charlotte here and today I'm sharing a one layer Valentine card that doesn't require any masking using various hearts and paw print stamps from my stash. I just went through all of my stamps and pulled out every single set I had with hearts or paw prints on them and then chose a few of them to create this card with. I made this card for the Connie Cancrop blog hop which is going on this weekend which is all about pets and the theme is paw prints on my heart and I will have a link to that down in the description box below. As I said it's a blog hop so you will want to head over to the blog to get the full details and if you hop along with us this weekend you will be in for a chance of winning a couple of prizes. We hope you will come and hop along with us. For the card itself this was a really quick card to make. It took me less than 15 minutes from start to finish. I started with some very large hearts which were from a Simon Says stamp, stamp set and I did those in old new frosty pink ink. All the stamp sets and inks I have used will be down below with the correct names if I get any of them wrong. And then I bought in some paw prints. The little paw print is from Paper Smooch's Chubby Chums. The bigger paw prints are, including the ones in the hearts, are from a stamp set called Wind In Your Fair. And I'm basically just going in with each stamp in a different colour and I have a rough idea of the layout I want because I'm using a sketch from Freshly Made Sketches for this and I'm using that as a guideline for where to place my hearts but basically I just want to make a kind of a flowing look of these hearts and paw prints. I started by using the lighter colours for the biggest images and then the darker shades of ink for the smaller ones but I did go back and forth a bit between this. I just didn't want the darker colours to overpower the card, which is why I kept those larger images with the lighter colours primarily. All the inks I used are either from Alt New or Simon Says Stamp. I have Alt New Frosty Pink, Coral Berry and Ruby Red and then from Simon Says Stamp I used Hollyhock and Watermelon and the stamp sets I used were Simon Says Stamps Really Like You which is where the largest heart and the kind of stitched heart are from. The Paper Smooch is Chubby Chums as I said for the tiny paw. The other paws are from I believe it's Three Room Studios Wind In Your Fair and then I also bought in a couple of lawn fawn stamp sets for those smaller hearts. I believe I used Mermaid For You and Happy Wedding and I just kept going through adding more hearts and paws and building it up with the different colours until I was happy with how it looked. I basically started with the three of the biggest hearts and then worked primarily in clusters around those because that gives a kind of visual triangle and gives like the backbone of the design and then bring them out from there to connect the three areas of stamping together into one cohesive flowing design. Originally I'd been thinking I would add an actual cat image onto this but in the end I decided I really liked how it looked just with the hearts and the paws. So the only thing I added was my sentiment and this is from the Greeting Farms Perfect Cats stamp set. This stamp set is retired but you could use any kind of love themed sentiment with this. There is one in Chubby Chums stamp set for example that says you're perfect and that would work well on this. I'm just stamping that directly along it with my Alt New Jet Black ink. Of course you could use any hearts or paws that you have for this design and whichever pinks and reds or you could even choose other colours if you preferred. You don't necessarily have to have exactly the same stamps that I used. I really did like the three room studio set though because it had the paw and heart combination ones which was just perfect for the design I wanted. But otherwise, as I said, you could just go through your stash and use whatever you want. And actually, I am considering this part of my Stash Busters series because it is going through my stash and seeing what I can use from that. If you're not familiar with my Stash Buster series, I try to use either new stamp sets that I haven't used and that have been hanging around waiting to be used or other things that are in my stash and being neglected basically. And I thought this was a good way on this card to make use of a lot of different stamp sets in one go. And that completes my one layer no masking Valentine card with a pet theme. 
particularly a cat theme, given the sentiment that I chose. I hope you enjoyed this video, don't forget this is part of a blog hub and you can check out the details for that on my blog which is linked down below. If you enjoyed this video please do press the thumbs up button below and if you didn't the dislike button is right next to it. I'd love to hear from you in the comments, have you created one layer cards without masking before? If you'd like to subscribe to make sure you don't miss any of my future videos you can press the button that's on screen now and if you ring the notification bell down below then you'll be alerted every time I put up a new video. There are also a couple of other videos showing on screen at the moment which you might like to watch if you want to see more from me straight away. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you again in the next video. Bye!